Do you need a weapon that can serve two purposes, not only do very well at close range, but do really effectively at mid range? Not only that, giving you the ability to three tap with this weapon is amazing. Three headshots will automatically put anybody down as long as they're three plated, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit further in the video. If you put this build together, guys, not only is the gun weapon going to be very fast, very mobile, but in addition to that, it's going to be very snappy when you guys go ahead and aim. And on top of that, the bullets are going to hit really fast and really precise. So if you want a weapon that's going to give you the ability to have a good sniper support, good sni uh, shotgun support, or just an overall world-rounded weapon, then you came to the right place. Because they we're going to take a look at the brand new weapon that came out for Call of Duty called the TR-76 Jeets. Now, remember, guys, all my loadouts are made and tailored specifically for DMZ. So not only is this weapon going to be viable against players, but it's going to be super effective against bots. You're going to be killing the bots really fast, which is what makes this weapon really good. And even though this weapon does come with a 45 round mag, it doesn't really matter because the amount of bullets that it takes to kill a bot are less than any other weapon that you could probably run here. So you're not going going through that clip very fast. So with that being said, guys, let's talk about what we're going to be doing. So first and foremost, you guys are seeing me gameplay of me using this weapon really good against players, really good against bots. We went ahead and tweaked it so you guys could get a really good boost on uh, fire damage. But the main tweak we did for this particular weapon, it's its accuracy. This is like a variant of the Ram 7 if you guys ever played Warzone 1. And as you guys know, this weapon does tend to have a lot of quick. I'm going to show you guys how to control that kick and how to keep that kick from going up. And also the pattern of that, that, you know, that the weapon takes in order to do so. So with that being said, let's go to the fire range. Let's talk about that. And then we're going to jump in here and take a look at the build that we have available for us. All right. So here we are at the firing range. I'm going to show you this weapon. Three taps. There's this one, two, three. All right. Dead. We're going to go here. We're going to aim at his head. One, two, three. All right. So you see three tap into the head right there. Very nice. The recoil pattern here is I'm going to not going to hold down the stick. It's just pretty much vertical. And then it starts kicking just a tad bit to the left. Once you get to that final recoil here, as you notice, the recoil pattern goes straight up, straight up, and then goes to the left. So basically, you want to compensate for the left a little bit, and you just want to make sure you hold that in place there. Very nice, very fluid there, allowing you to get that nice little hand sensor shot. The good thing is since this pushes vertical, you're going to want to make sure that when you're aiming and you're shooting this gun, you're kind of aiming at the torso so the bullet could automatically kick right up to the headshot. As you see right there, when you're aiming at that torso. You're going to start at the torso, automatically aim with the, uh, the headshot. If you're aiming straight at the headshot, just keep it down just a little bit so you can just automatically get those headshots like that. It does really good at long distance, so that's 10 meters. I believe this is 30 right here. That's really good. And even for further distance, you're still going to be able to tap. Not a three tap, but you'll still be able to knock the player very fast very easily uh, if you guys are able to use this weapon. So... What exactly are we using in this gun? Well, let's leave the firing range and find out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the build. For the build, guys, we're running the Bruin Bridal Heavy. And the tuning we have on this, guys, is we're running recoil steadiness maxed out. Damage range completely maxed out on here. The reason we're running this is because we want to make sure we get that recoil control and that damage range and that bullet velocity. Plus, we want to make sure that the weapon is very helpful for us if we're getting pushed. So allowing us to use that hip fire is going to come in handy. Next up, guys, we're running the SA Leveler 55. And for this one, guys, we're running the tuning with max recoil control, max recoil stability. For the under barrel, we're running the FTAC Reaper. And we're running this one with max recoil stability and an uh, idle speed. The reason we're doing this one right here is because we want to make sure that when we're using uh, aiming down sight with this weapon, it's not idling too much. Uh, we are running uh, ammo for this one. We're running high velocity ammo. And the reason we're running the high velocity ammo is just make sure that our bullets are getting there on target when we're shooting them. I did run it with a two different type of variants of bullets and known bullets. And I found that the high velocity is definitely the way you want to go with here. Uh, we went ahead and tuned this just a little bit for damage range and bullet velocity. And last but not least, we slapped in the 45 round mag. And it's going to kind of reduce a little bit of mobility here, guys, and handling. But we're picking up a couple of these components from our, our, you know, from our, our items here. And I think if you put this build together, you guys are going to be doing very well, especially in DMZ, due to the fact that it's a really fast, it has a really fast type of kill when you're fighting players. But in addition to that, it does become very powerful when you're fighting bots. Put this build together, guys. You won't be disappointed. Stop by and hang out if you need help with anything with DMZ. I know we got no new missions, but if you're still trying to catch up, make sure you stop by. If you need help with that Serpentine Camel, we're helping every single day. So must make sure you stop by and hang out. 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.